Hello everybody. Today I wanted to honor a request from a fan from a previous video saying that they want me to do a tutorial on password and email validation. Uh, they didn't specifically want anything to do with like Google or Gmail or validating with that, but to have your own built in uh, email and password. So, so for that reason, I'm going to just hard code a email and a password. So if you just want to store it inside a local device, then that's fine. Um, but I'll just go over that. So if we have email, I'll set that email to whatever I'd like. So I'll just do Python at uh, gmail.com. And then I'll have a password. And I'll just do something short and easy. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I want to check to see if the user's input actually matches my email and my password. So first thing I need to do is create an input function for the user to use. So I'll say email input and I'll assign that to an input function. And inside that function, we're going to uh, let the user know that it's time to enter their email. So enter your email. And I'll do a new line so it looks nice. And then I'm going to also do the password. So password input. Set that equal to input. Enter your password. OK. And now I want to use a conditional to see if the email input matches the actual email. So if I do email, if email input is double equals to email, then I want you to print email is correct. Okay. So this double equals, if that looks strange to you, remember it just is checking to see if this is the same value as that, okay? Single equals will assign, double equals will check to see if they're the same or not, okay? Awesome, and then else, print email is not correct, okay? So let's hit run, let's see what we got so far. So if I do something incorrect, and it says email is not correct. So now let's do a correct email. And email is correct, okay? We haven't checked for the password yet, so don't worry about that. Okay, so that's working really nicely. Now let's check for the password. So if uh, email, uh, sorry, if password input is the same as password, then I want you to print password is correct. Otherwise, print password is not correct. Cool. So let's go ahead and run that. So enter your email. So let's do python at gmail.com, enter your password, so let's check for correct. So email is correct and password is correct. Now let's do wrong for both. Email is not correct, password is not correct. Okay, so that's working really nicely so far. So what I wanna do is I wanna give the user a chance to enter their input again. So if the emails are not correct, well, don't we want them to re-enter it? Um, so this pretty much only applies in our console application, of course. Um, of course, on a website, they can just click it and try again. But on a console, we want it to keep checking for, uh, keep validating until it's correct, right? So we're gonna use the while loop. And if you're not familiar with the while loop, please check out my other tutorial on the basics of the while loop on this card up above. So click on that if you wanna check that out. So I'm just gonna say while, and it's gonna see if something's true. So I can just use a Boolean and just say true. So this will just always run because true is always true. 
and then I can highlight everything inside of it and hit the tab on the far left side of my keyboard and you can see everything has shift over so that now everything is inside of this while loop, okay? So this will go on forever and ever, okay? Which is not exactly what we want, but at least we know it's looping. Okay, so I only want this to loop as long as these are not correct. But if it is correct, both the password and the email, then I want it to break out of the loop. So let's do one more conditional. So let's do if the email is double equals to, um, here we'll do email inputs is double equals to email and the password input is the same as password, then I want you to break. So break will actually break this loop. So let's let's check to see if if it'll work if they're both correct. So python at gmail.com and then cows. Cool. So they're both correct and you see it didn't print anything else. Okay. So let's kind of check that just to make sure that we're coming out of the loop. So print you are now logged in. Okay, python at gmail.com, cows. Okay, everything's correct, you're now logged in. So now let's test to see if we do something wrong. Okay, so it is looping and it's not breaking. So that's good, but this is still going on forever. And the reason it's going on forever is because we're not actually allowing the user to re-enter their email and password. That's because email and password inputs are outside the loop so let's bring that down inside of the loop. Let's try this again. So jibber jabber, jibber jabber. Those are not correct. And it's having me do it again. Awesome. So let's try with a correct email, but a wrong password. Okay. So it said the email is correct, but the password is not correct. And it's looping again. So that works, so let's do a wrong email, and let's do a correct password. Password is correct, email is not correct, okay? And that's not super ideal for a normal application to do that, but just for our purposes to see, um, we can see that it is still correct, but it's not correct for the email, and it's still looping. So that's really good, okay? So that is working so far. And I want to add a feature where if the user tries too many times, then it will break, um, not allow them to even try anymore. So let's create some kind of counter, set it to zero so it can count. Okay. And I want to say that while the counter is less than three, otherwise, in other words, we're going to give them three tries. Uh, then I want you to do this loop, okay? So I'm gonna say if they don't have the correct combination, then I want you to increment your counter by one. So the first time they make a mistake, this will be zero plus one, which is one, okay? The second time they make a mistake, it'll do one, plus one, which is two. And then the third time they make a mistake, it'll be two plus one, which equals three. And then once it's three, this will not no longer be true because three is not smaller than three, okay? It will break out, okay? And we can actually add an else statement for your for loop. So just as we have our if else statements here, we can do a while else, which is pretty cool. So you can print something like, uh, you have tried too many times for security purposes. You have been locked out of your account. Okay, or something like that. 
So yeah, if that's not true anymore, then it will do the else statement. Okay, so let's test this. Let's clear this out. Oh, and it's already going there because it's three. I gotta set this back to zero. Okay, so enter your email. So I'll do something wrong, something wrong, something wrong, something wrong. So that was two mistakes. Let's try the third and see what happens. Email's not correct, password's not correct, you have tried too many times. For security purposes, you have been locked out of your account. Okay, so that works great, but it also says you're now logged in, which is not right, okay? And it's because once the loop is all done, it's gonna continue down with my code. So I can simply do something like, if counter is uh, less than three, then I want you to run this code here. Okay, so let's try that one more time. Cool, so it says you tried too many times for security purposes, you've been locked out of your account and it doesn't even show that it, you're logged in now, okay? So now let's test to make sure that it works. So python at gmail.com cows you are now logged in, cool. So let's test a correct email, but a wrong password. Okay, so that worked. Now let's do a wrong email, correct password, not correct, and then let's um, do jibber jabber and jibber jabber, just to make sure that those are all counting Okay, and it should because every time, so as long as these are not the same, then do that, okay? So this and statement, if you've never seen that before, it's checking to see that, it's making sure that both of these are true, okay? So email has to be true and password has to be true for this to work. If one of them's not true, it will not work. If I did an or, that means either this has to be true or this has to be true. One of these can be false, it doesn't matter. As long as one of them's true, it will run this code. So that's or, and then and just means we want both of them to be true, okay? So that is a working uh, functional email password validator uh, in Python. There's lots of different ways you can do this. Find the best way that works for you but know that you can do it this way, okay? And you do need to do some kind of loop to allow the user to try again until they get it right, okay? So perfect. Uh, so if you do like these videos, go ahead and like and subscribe, and uh, subscribe so that you can get a notification that I have uploaded a new video. I try to do these videos pretty often, and I do take uh, request. If you do have a request for my next tutorial, please let me know down in the comments and I do take these requests and um, try to honor those for you, okay? I will talk to you guys later. Happy coding.